If you try to get to the site of the protests in Bahrain, this is what you'll find. Filming here is banned. The military is in control. The voice of opposition silenced. Inside this house is the wife of one of the doctors now on trial for sedition. She's too scared to show her face. But she says her husband has been systematically tortured into making a confession. He told me that they tortured them a lot. They were hit. And for the last uh, three weeks since they took him from the first day, they, they didn't allow him to sit for three weeks. He was standing all the time. There is no sleep because he was standing. In March, government troops moved in to smash street protests that had swept Bahrain for more than a month. The dead and the injured were rushed to Bahrain's biggest hospital. That's where the 20 doctors all worked. This is the military court on the edge of Manama where the doctor's trial began last week. That down there behind me is the courthouse. It's a military building. We are absolutely not allowed to film it, but I was allowed in to the building to see the 20 doctors being brought in looking forlorn and exhausted and to hear the allegations against them, which are extremely serious and very difficult to believe. This is the government's evidence against the doctors. In this video, one of them can clearly be seen leading anti-government protests outside the hospital. Isn't it a crime uh, to uh, exaggerate the events in, uh, in a country where actually your national security is jeopardized, where you send the information that uh, antagonizes and incites hatred? But their families say the doctors are really being persecuted for this, for showing the world hard evidence of government shootings for going on international television to appeal for the violence to stop. They are innocent. They carry no weapons. <laughs> Please. They have seen every crime happen to these people and they have broadcast decent news to the international media. That's make the government very, very angry about it. Bahrain's ruling family has succeeded in silencing the opposition. But they now rule over a society deeply divided and simmering with anger. Rupert Wingfield Hayes, BBC News, in Bahrain.